today we're in the Snohomish Apothecary with Mindy Westfall. Thank you very much for coming in to your own store. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming into the store. <laughs> yeah. So today we're going to go through uh, this new store that's been created in Snohomish and talk to Mindy exactly about how this was created, how this came to be in Snohomish. Uh, this is brand new. It just opened up um, now, whenever this is filming, um, within the last couple well, weeks. Yeah, 20, 24 days ago. And 24 days ago. Yeah, yeah. 24 very, days. Very, very fresh. Uh, and in the middle of the pandemic. In the middle of this you know. pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> Which is kind of interesting and unique all on its own because obviously everybody else is closing down and we opened up <laughs> for the first time. And you opened up when you felt like you had actually scheduled to open up. So yeah. regardless on, what was going on. on. Yep. On, t on time, on schedule. We opened up on schedule. Yeah. Which was crazy. And that sounds like a great thing to do as well, right? Because you have, why push your date back when we know that um, you're still doing everything that you would yeah. want to be doing? Yeah. And this is a store that's actually going to be helping people get healthier during yeah. a, a very interesting time like this. Absolutely. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't expect that when we, when we planned this. <laughs> that was just an added uh, twist, I guess. I don't think any of us planned no. any of the things that are going on right now. <laughs> not, not really. Uh, so how long did it take you to put this together? Because it seemed like it happened very fast. It did happen really fast. It's something that's kind of been in the back of my mind for about six years now, ever since I started my first company, that someday we would be able to have a store mm. um, in Snohomish because we live in Snohomish. We live a mile and a half from here. So this is our hometown. This is where we're raising our kids. And um, we knew that we wanted to have this. Didn't know the time, didn't know the timeline. So it was, you know, some things were happening in our community and the other um, establishment that's was similar to ours um, on the other side of town was kind of winding down and mm -hmm. coming to an ending point and so it, it kind of pushed us into this time of is this the time mm -hmm. is this when we should do this um, our products um, from our my my original company which i still have it's my my first baby company um, were in that store so i knew what was going on and i know the people who work there and the owner and so when that's all started happening we you know tim and i just started looking at is this the time is this the right time is is it actually now is this when we're going to do this and it very quickly became a not only is this the time here's a location here's all these things and it happened so fast yeah, this. so fast because <laughs> we we looked at our location i think the beginning of february we signed papers i think on um, valentine's day wow. and we got to move in and start construction on march 1st and we opened on may 1st so it was so fast really not sure sometimes how in the world that happened <laughs> um and then coronavirus happened right in the middle of that right after we had started and um, we just kept going. We just kept, it, it actually made a lot of things easier. That's true. <laughs> um, because Tim was then able to, Tim is my husband, he was able to work from the store. There were offices already here. So right. we just hooked up the internet and he has been able to work from here, which has been fantastic. Um, so he was able to be much more of a part. And then our community really came together even before all of the coronavirus things happened and just pitched in and wanted to be part of it and wanted to help. And, you know, we saw there being a need for health and wellness and not just, not just another supplement store. We have Hagen's, we have Fred Meyers, as all of you know, if you live here. Um, but those don't have experts in different areas or specialists to really help you find what you're looking for and fine tune it for you. Um, which that's something that we are able to offer here. I'm an aromatherapist. We have an herbalist on staff. We have people who have worked in the health um, and supplement industry for a number of years that just know these products and know our community and what they need. And, um, but being able to bring that and then also being able to bring the other 
areas of our makers items in which is something that we offer as well so we have supplements and we have grocery and we have gifts and then once we're able to open everything up we're going to have a whole wellness center with different practitioners so you can come in and get a massage or do a personal workout with a personal trainer and mental health counselors and all these different things and offer classes and do all these different things that we haven't been able to do yet but it's on its way <laughs> very much on its way so yeah it was super fast super fast two months two and a half months if we go from when we first signed papers so two and a half months and this was a family affair oh yeah yeah it has to be a family thing because we have six kids <laughs> so having six kids the kids have been involved they've been here they've been painting they've been building our oldest son works um, in construction and so he's been here building things and and just you know we have uh, some employees whose husbands are also in the construction industry and have been here and just pouring love into this place been able to really to to really feel that and you feel it when you come in here once mm -hmm. you guys come in and feel it we've been told numerous times that coming in here is like getting a hug yeah. Like people walk in and they can just feel that energy and they feel that love that has been put into building this and that we all love what we do. We want to be here and we want this to be a place that people feel that and that they, they are energized and that they are healed and that just somewhere they want to be and hang out. Yeah. And this is a lot of local, uh, mm -hmm. a lot of local makers, like you said, and yeah. it's very much trying to keep it as local as we possibly can is a, is a really cool thing. At least that's what I've heard so far and seen yeah. a lot of. Yeah. Yeah. Got a lot of friends a... that have stuff in here. Uh, we do. We have a lot of friends with things in here. Um, most of you probably don't even know. Um, we have quite the plethora of makers in Snohomish that make amazing products from supplement products from cbd products azimuth even makes uh we have their whole line of products here um lion's mane reishi mushroom cbd immunity all of these different things we even they even have a bubble bath i mean if you guys haven't tried the bubble bath seriously the bubble bath is pretty epic awesome. um but this is made right down the street yeah. That's the thing that people don't understand is we our heart is for our local community. If we have to go outside our community, obviously we're going to Spree to bring gum. in. There's certain things we that spry, we all have yeah, spry. we have spry gum, we have, you know, we have Oregon Wild Harvest. Yeah. We have Herb Farm. We have places down in Oregon, but as as close to home as we can. Um is what we're trying to bring in and the best. Mm -hmm. So I'm on the board for the Snohomish Farmers Market and in being on the board, I knew firsthand what was going on with the coronavirus and the COVID-19 and the bankers not being able to be at the farmer's market. Yeah. Um, and so we were able to open up and say, hey, friends, come and bring products. Come bring your candles and your pottery and your soaps and lotions and all your good things. Bring your jams and, and, and those things and, and let's build something that there is nowhere else in Snohomish besides at the farmer's market, which is only seasonal. Yeah. We even have local produce that was grown a mile and a half from here um, we have raw milk we have local dairy that isn't sold at any of the other stores that is used at the barking frog is mm -hmm. used at 21 acres canless like these are very high-end restaurants so we we were able to partner with that dairy with Cherry Valley Dairy is the the one and Sylvana has raw milk and St. John's Creamery has goat milk. I mean, we're <laughs> we have these specialty items that are from our neighbors. These are from our people that we know and love. We have the EMP products. We have Beautiful Naturally. We have Mars Capone. We have Amethyst Apothecary. Mm -hmm. Those uh, Amethyst happens to be on staff with us, and she wildcrafts her items. Amazing. She her. goes. I was gonna say yeah. she went out with you, right? Last I, I couple weeks. You went she out with her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She goes a lot, but you were able to go out with her and go Monica, yeah. go pick things and and wildcraft and you know just put all that love and energy into those products to bring them to our community to help them heal especially in a time that is so uncertain and we need to be building our immunity so we offer a lot of immunity boosters oh we also have snowmish bee company that's another one that we have yep. um we have their their um honey here their raw honey amazing if honey. you have allergies Corey, amazing honey. so amazing <laughs> You know, just being able to bring all of the things together, like all these things that I love. Mm -hmm. But basically, if you come into the store, 
my friends are like, if you take all the things that Mindy loves and made a store out of it, what would it look like? This is what it would look like. <laughs> I have my girlfriend's art. She has a really bad arthritis and some um, autoimmune disease. She used to make jewelry and she can't do that anymore. So she makes these amazing paintings yeah, yeah. that are just gorgeous. I know you got one, yeah, one yeah. and it's one of a kind. She signed it and they're, they're absolutely gorgeous. But to be able to support our friends and family and our community and bring health and wellness and and that love to everybody is so important to mm -hmm. our family and it's important to Snohomish it really I feel like it is really the heart of Snohomish mm -hmm. Snohomish is all about local all about sustainable and that's what we want we we're looking at and working towards just a little teaser if, if whenever this goes out it might already be here um, but we're gonna do a zero waste um, all natural cleaning supplies Wonderful. that can be refilled. Yeah. Bulk, um, yeah. bulk. Yeah. And so you can bring in your own reusable containers and we can fill them right here. And that's something that we really want to work towards with a lot of things is to be able to be sustainable, mm -hmm. to be zero waste, to have that option for our community. Yeah. It's a huge thing. Yeah. <laughs> especially to be, able to, to be able to bring the community back together. I think that's what a lot of towns have forgotten about especially with big urban um, yeah. sp uh, sprawls turning into what they have we we go out there our kids go off and then mm -hmm. uh, we want to be able to come back here and know that the community has stayed I mean this is like a cheers type of land yeah. right where everybody yeah. really does know your name yeah. and if a story gets out it gets out and it's so neat to have a place like this where people are going to be able to come here and you know take classes learn from people and really get involved at a community level what you had uh, your brother's friend stop our mm -hmm. brother your son's son. friend stop by <laughs> yeah really young brother uh stop by you know, earlier and it's just really neat to see that the community and even the youngins are, are coming around and want to help and yeah. want to just say hi and you know and that's it's really neat to be able to come back to i think a time that is has been forgotten a little bit because of the internet and we are so separate now and yeah. you didn't know this is on the internet. Yeah. Um, the fact that they use it for our advantage. All right. Yeah. You know, the, the milkman, those type of things, those, yeah. those, those local deliveries that we used to have and the paper boys and we don't have those anymore. And right. so it's really neat to be able to see a, um, a environment like this, being able to come back where James, my neighbor who does yeah. bring his radical roots, be able, is able to bring his fresh um, fruits and veggies up here. So it's just a really amazing, location that you've created here and it's first in it's yep. it's really a beautiful creation so thank you very much for that absolutely it's thanks for hanging out i was it, like you're you're one of definitely. our favorites so you come and, and hang out and i did <laughs> want to ask you uh so how you got started you had mentioned it but you hadn't got into it yet is um, land of the living is, this, yep. is so this is your other company that yeah. you that kind of started a lot of this right yeah and six it, years ago it's essential oils yeah so what, what got you into essential oils um i was at a point in my life where my youngest child at the time was six, uh, six years old, five, six years old, starting to do school things. And, and I just was like, okay, I need to find my purpose. Not just, not just, you know, what plans I have, but really what is my purpose? Mm -hmm. And I was really drawn and led to, to essential oils and their healing properties. Funny. Cause I as y'all can tell, I have a lot of tattoos. My first one actually is on my hip and it's kanji for healing. And so how funny, um, when I started to study essential oils and study their properties and what they could do and uh, how long they'd been around and realizing that unfortunately there had been some things that have done a, a bit of a disservice to them, um, in keeping them out of the hands of a lot of um, a lot of people because of price points of different things like that um, and availability. So I saw my mom friends that needed this ability to be able to help heal their families in a natural way. And all of a sudden it was just like, kind of like the store, it just all, everything fell into place. And it was like, okay, here you go. And then I had people showing up at my house. Hey, can you make something that does this? And Oh uh, yeah, I can. Sure. Here you go. And then they're handing me money. I'm like, no, 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 you have to pay me. And they're like, no, no, this is going to be something big. I want to, I want to, to be part of this. Hmm. And so I just was like, huh? Okay. And then my husband asked me, um, well, what's going to make you different? And I said, well, I'm going to go to school. 
because a lot of people are just giving their opinion and mm -hmm. have no real basis as to why. And I wanted to be able to speak with authority on the subject and know my why. Um, I was homeschooled. I'm very good at learning. I love to research things. So I went, I went to work. I started with Heart of Herbs um, School. Oh, it's on the East Coast and a distance learning because I'm wow. good at learning myself mm -hmm. and have continued with that. For the last six years, we created a brand, Land of the Living Apothecary, with my business partner, Shelly Condorf, who lived here at the time, who then moved to Denver, <laughs> and is now in Maryland. <laughs> so nice. we are now coast to coast. Mm -hmm. We have our East Coast branch and our West Coast branch, and we we make our own, we, we work with, let me go back a little bit, we work with farms and distillers, which is a big question everybody has, where do you get your oils from? Mm -hmm. um, we work with farms and distillers all over the world. Um, there are things that are not grown in the U.S. People are like, well, I only want the U.S. Right. produced things. And, yeah. well, that's not really... Not at the level not, that you want to uh, get Not these. at a level. If you yeah. want frankincense, we don't grow frankincense yeah. in the U.S. Boswellia. We, here, yeah, so. <laughs> no, we don't get any Boswellia here. Tea tree is another one. Um, sandalwood. Like, mm -hmm. we, those don't grow here. We can't get and those locally. And if they locally. do, they grow this big. Yeah, they're yeah. teeny tiny. They're not huge. <laughs> That's not sustainable. Yeah. So we work with a lot of these farms and distillers, which there aren't, there aren't many all over the world. So when you wonder if other places are getting them at the same place, most likely, yeah. Most likely, they are. <laughs> um, so they are tested. They are of the highest quality. We really pride ourselves on that. We make our own blends. Uh, we just made a new blend, actually, that's sitting right here, which I'll grab. Hey. Uh, we made a key lime pie hand Ooh. sanitizer. Sounds delightful. Um, and people think, well, how in the world could you make key lime pie with essential oils? Because uh, a lot of people think, well, can I get mango? No, mango is not an essential oil, <laughs> but lime is, so is verbena mm -hmm. and vanilla. So you want to want to take a smell of that? Oh, wow. That is very key lime pie. Right? It totally yeah. smells like key lime pie. It's the lifeline in your hands. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we've got a lot good. of people who say that uh, it's the best smelling hand sanitizer they've smelled. Right. So we will have that in 5 and 15 mil for diffusable. But we have our entire line of essential oils here. We have over 150 single oils. We're going to end up having a blending bar. So if you guys have a recipe you want to make, you can buy your oils by the drop. Well, we can help you if there's something that you're like, oh, I really was looking for this and you don't see it on the shelf. We have our entire production lab here in-house, which is something that nobody else has. They don't have a production lab. They don't have all of the materials and we can make things on the spot. So that's, that's another huge advantage we have for serving our community. And Massive. so, yeah. yeah, so that was, some, that's my first baby. And then this is, well, I guess I got six. <laughs> I got a few. I like collecting babies, evidently. <laughs> a bit of a maker, entrepreneur. Yeah. yeah. yeah you like to create. Things. I love to create. I love to be able to make all the new things. That's fantastic. Well, it's a beautiful store. We really hope that this flourishes. It already is doing amazingly yeah. well, especially during a time like this. And Snohomish now has an amazing health store to be able to come learn so much from all the people here, all the products, be able to... And I have a feeling if there's something that somebody is interested in and it's either not been made yet or not yep. been sourced already, please come and tell oh, yeah. Mindy and everybody here about what that is so we can get that in. Because there's a, there's a world of healthy items out there. there are. Oh, something something that we did that we are getting that a lot of people don't know about because it hasn't quite happened yet, but oh. we're working on it, is we're going to have an entire cosmetic line. Mm, yes. We will have a cosmetic line that is clean. It's the cleanest cosmetic line I've ever seen. No mineral oils, no parabens, no talc, all of those things. It is vegan. I believe it's a vegan oh. Um, organic. I mean, it is so clean. I was a makeup artist for Bare Minerals for a, for a long time and skincare specialist. And this line has really impressed me. And we were sought out by this line, which was amazing. And it's local. Mm -hmm. So when we reveal what line it is, I'm excited for everybody to try it out and come and tell us what they think, because I think they're going to be super excited yeah. and impressed with it. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know of any place else that has a whole makeup line in their store right. either in Snohomish. So.
So for the ladies, this is going to yeah. be a great place to come get your makeup. And guys, children, everybody, um, it's right in line with the high school. So it's, yeah. there's probably going to be a, a very good youth aspect here as well. Uh, I'm Absolutely. really excited to see what this turns into. And I'm really glad that we're able to be part of it as well. And this community has just come through and been able to support this in such a great, great way. Yeah, it's been amazing. And a you know, big time of need. So uh, look forward to a lot more from uh, Snohomish Apothecary and also Snohomish Boom. Yeah. Thank you very much.